Good evening and welcome to another Pandora video. Today we'll take a look at uh, the different web browsers. Let's start with Chromium. We are connected to uh, Wi-Fi, to my local network. And let's see how well it works. So Chromium starts up pretty fast. Let's start with a common website. That's the open Pandora site. So there it is, it appears. Waiting for Facebook, it's always the thing that takes longest to load. Um, you can scroll up using the D-pad up, down, so down, 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 up, up, up. You can do the same with the uh, page up, page down buttons, which are is basically the buttons on your right side. So page up, page up, page up, page down, or use the D-pad to go up and down. Works pretty well. You could always uh, also set up a knob to be uh, your scroll wheel, so you could scroll up right, down, left, right, and stuff like that. So let's click in here, for example. Works pretty well, opens pretty fast. So Chromium really is my favorite browser here. Let's see how it handles more complicated site. Open a new tab. So as on your desktop, you have the old one here, the new one there, and load for example in Gadget. Gadget is a way more complicated site with a lot of pictures and advertisements and stuff like that so it's probably going to take a lot longer to load. But it's building. There it is already. Holiday gift guide. Still loading some stuff but already showing. Yeah the top stories. still loading things. Here you can see there's also left right to scroll. Oh now it's loaded completely. Once it's loaded it's really fast going up down or you could also use a set the scroll bar here. So yeah runs nice. You can switch to the other back and forth. So that's how web browsing works here. I really like the Chromium, I don't like those finger browsers. But let's take a look at the next one. There's Chromium Dev. Chromium Dev basically is the latest snapshot or one of the latest snapshots for Chromium for the mobile one. Um, so it features some things that don't work like uh, battery power because it has that um, Google OS included. Um, it works with synchronizing your uh, stuff, but uh, compared to the normal Chromium, I really don't like that one. Also, it has some problem, it sometimes crashes your unit. But apart from that, it runs basically the same speed um, as uh, the other Chromium. So the only advantage is, is you can bookmark uh, you can synchronize your bookmarks and that's it. Speed is basically the same. Okay, okay, let's go to the next one. Um, there are two browsers built in, that's Midori and Aurora. Midori is very buggy and doesn't render properly and crashes so I wouldn't use that one. Aurora is a small light white browser which loads up pretty fast. Okay, let's go to boards open pandora.org here as well. Apart from that it works. Also loads the sites pretty fast. And works basically the same speed as uh, Chromium once the site is loaded. We're at 88 percent. I guess it's just loading Facebook that always slows it down a bit. Okay, now it's finished loading. It also works with page up, page down. So this one is small and built in, um, but I still, as I said, prefer Chromium a lot. Next one is Fennec. Now Fennec is a different browser. It's basically a mobile Firefox. And mobile means it can, it, it's optimized for to be used with your fingers with the touch screen. 
Some people prefer touchscreen browsers, I don't. So let's of course also go to boards.open pandora.org. So now it loads up the boards and as said it's optimized for touch so scrolling works with the finger. You can also do a double click to zoom in or to zoom out. You can move to the left to open a new tab. To the right are your favorites and stuff like that. Yeah, or you can use the uh, touch screen, uh, the, the stylus as well. It also works pretty fast. Let's see how it handles sites like Engadget. Okay, it's loading. There's something coming up. So now it hides the address bar, so you have maximum view. Up and down works. Yeah, so if you prefer kinetic touch browsers, then Fennec probably is for you. Yes, I want to close both tabs. Okay, next one. Let's see. There's Firefox. Firefox works but um, it is slow. It is also one of the slowest browsers you have on your normal desktop PC. So on your desktop PC you have a lot more horsepower. But it has the... Um, you can use extensions which is pretty nice. First let's start with Firefox 3.6. Welcome to Firefox. Okay, we can close that one. Once it started, it also works nice, but it takes a while to load for the first time. Boards open Pandora org. And there you go. Also appears fast. And of course you can use page up, page down again. Or just use your D-pad to scroll around. So it also works nice. Takes a bit longer to start up, but once it started it runs. Let's go to Engadget. So that's one thing that's really nice about the Pandora is there are different web browsers. The web browsers you all know from your um, desktop system available and you can select which one do you want to use. You want to use uh, Firefox because you have all the extensions here, well then you can do it. Or you want to use Chromium because it's fast, then you can do so as well. But as you can see Firefox once it starts up it's also running pretty fast. So I can go left, right as well of course still loading the website but I can move around so yeah also working nicely so last let's see the new Firefox so latest one here Firefox 4 beta 7 um, usually Firefox 4 has become faster than Firefox 3 so it should also be faster on the Pandora 
Um, one thing I need to mention is that all those programs are currently running with the stock 500 megahertz. So if you want a faster Firefox, then you just need to um, increase the clock speed as well. Okay, so let's first check boards, open pandora.org. Firefox 4 really is more responsive than the old one. So let's see how it handles the websites. There you go, wow, that loaded up pretty fast and I can already scroll around pretty well while it's still loading. So yeah, Firefox 4 seems as fast as Chromium to me, but not all extensions have been ported to Firefox 4 yet, but I'm pretty sure there will once the final version is out. So let's check in Gadget as well here. Connecting. Guess while it's loading you can still go back to the open Pandora boards and look around here. And then go back to Engadget. Ah, it's loaded a lot of things. So let's see, yeah I can move around here as well. There you go. Of course you can also um, Select if you want to see the toolbar and stuff like that. You can uh, zoom in and zoom out. So um, you can also use control plus and minus. So if the site is too big, you can make it smaller. Oh, that takes a while because it's a really big site. Ah, oh, no, it, there it is, a bit smaller. So yeah. Basically, I think Firefox, that's one big site. Damn, there were a lot of pictures here, if you, as you can see. And it's way faster than if I browse on my phone. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see on the browsers, um, the best one, in my opinion, is still Chromium, together with Firefox 4, Beta 7, that runs well. Firefox uh, 3 is a bit slow but works fine. And Fennec, well, I don't like kinetic scrolling browsers, but if you do, then that one is fine for you too. That's for today's video. See you tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed today's browsing lesson.